Congratulations, we're funded. Yeah? Yeah? All right, when do we start? Tomorrow night. Yes. Okay, but before we can do this, we gotta work out one last detail. Your personas. Our personas? Yeah, characters, like Scott. Yeah. You're gonna be a salesman. Okay. Where have you been that you know a little bit of something about? Mm, Vancouver? Good. You're a salesman from Vancouver, you're just here on business, checking out the casinos, wear a tie. <laughs> you got it. Elise? You're a professional. A doctor? No, an escort. Ooh, an escort? A high-class escort. No! What's wrong with you? Listen, an attractive woman all alone in a casino, standing around watching people play cards, you're gonna get hit on like crazy. But not if you're a hooker, because men are intimidated by hookers. Wait, so first there was an escort, now I'm a hooker? That's the same thing. No, no, okay, so what if some unintimidated guy tries to hire me? We make a little extra cash. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're not going to, not out in the open, not like that. Trust me, Elise, it's the perfect cover for you. Now, George, you are the spirited rich kid from the Pacific Rim with plenty of daddy's money. I'm a really bad liar. Uh, can I be myself? No. People are going to wonder where the hell a university student gets thousands of dollars to bet on blackjack. Plus, you don't want to speak English too well. Why? I'll make you seem a little less adept. That way, when you have one of those little brain freezes, it won't seem so bad. Right, so George and I play demeaning stereotypes, but Scott gets to be a regular guy. It's because the two people that you really are wouldn't be doing this kind of thing. What does that mean? Look, you're going to be nervous and self-conscious. Better that people should think you're self-conscious because you're a hooker. And you, actually, George, quite honestly, I mean, don't get me wrong, but you're not exactly a flamboyant kind of guy. You look like a computer geek. And if you sit down and start playing cards like a machine, people are going to get suspicious. Plus, the dealers are going to really love you, by the way, because you tip well. I have to tip them? See? See? That's exactly my point. You wouldn't tip them, but your alter ego does. Okay? Now, Elise, clothes. What are you going to wear? You got some sexy little black thing, maybe some heels, a little... Okay, listen, you dirty old man. No, I'm not wearing heels. Great, you can be a hooker in sensible shoes. I'll see what I have. Interesting. What the hell is that, a bridesmaid's dress? Well, it's the best that I can do. I mean, what the hell do you people think? Every woman has some kind of secret stash of slutty outfits? Only the fun ones. I'm fun. I didn't even know about this place. I like to get people presents they can use. After dog trainers. Looking for anything in particular? Yeah. No. Not with these maniacs watching. I'm looking. Guys. I'm 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 doing a, a theater production, um, and I play a prostitute. You didn't love it. The only parts they write for women. <laughs> so are you a street walker, bar troller, in caller, out caller? I, I'm the sort where you wouldn't necessarily go, hey, look, there's a hooker. Gotcha. Now, and I especially don't want to hear what you're thinking. In fact, everyone should just shut the hell up for five minutes. 